Hello everyone, my sound was checked beforehand, so welcome to another live stream with Azarak9. We are here uh, to play some more Hermitcraft, Her Hermitcraft Season 7 Exploring. So, I hope you are excited. And that you forget my f forgive my fumbling of language today, because apparently I can't speak worth anything today. Um, but yes... Hello. I am here. And as you can see, I did some stuff since last stream. Because I downloaded the resource pack that Azuma uses specifically for uh, when he was on Season 7 of Hermitcraft. I did do some of my own changes because some of the mods that he used, at, or some of the resource packs that he used, I wasn't a big fan of. Um, it kind of clashed with my Optifine. So yeah, and as you can see, it actually made it so that I made it so that the background of a Minecraft on my Java edition is his base. So that's really cool. But yeah, let's 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 hop in the you know the actual server. I don't know if you heard that, but Spawn Cat did greet you guys. So excitement abound. And we're back at the parkour. We're back at the parkour. Hello, Vesper. Welcome. We're back at the parkour, which I'm so thrilled about, as you know. <laughs> oh, we're having a bit of a lag issue. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix that. Um, do do do. So hopefully everything's working, you guys see stuff, let me know if it's laggy and I'll reduce some other things. Um, but yeah, so we're here. I'm going to try to do more of this parkour. Uh, I'll probably cry a lot, but yep, they're just going to be crying. Um, Spawn Cat has answered for me tonight, apparently. I don't know if you if you heard her, but... Uh, apparently I'm, you know, I'm, I, I'm being meowed. So, uh, for me though, personally, I, I, today was a little bit better. A little bit, just in the barest sense. And also anyone else in chat. I don't, I haven't seen anyone else say hello yet, so. You might be the only one so far, Vesper. Uh, the other one, others should be in soon, I would think, if they're showing up tonight. I do believe they are. Dursidian said he would see me in chat, so. Oh my gosh, Spawn Cat, you are. You choose the worst spot to to jump up at. And you're gonna knock down my phone. Why do you always come from the right? Is that because it's like my blind side because I'm not right handed? Is that what it is? Is because of my mouse hand? It's not an actual mouse, Spawn Cat. Yes, it's not an actual mouse. You know, you're, you're gonna make it very hard to, to do any parkour. Oh, we almost made it that time. Oh, Spawn Cat. But yeah, Spawn Cat says hello, and she says she's doing perfectly fine. Um, other than the fact that she is making me waste my money, what little I have, on wet food, because she doesn't eat it. She's not eating her wet food again, so she's back on a dry diet for a couple days. Because this cat is addicted to kibble. Oh my goodness, why did that spin? I apologize, chat, that you saw that spinningness. But yeah, so. Fun. <sighs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know why she does not want to eat her wet food. I spend a lot of money on the wet food for my kitties. And uh, Mom Cat is the only one who really reliably eats hers. Usually. She eats more of her wet food than her, than her dry food. So. I don't know, I'm talking about my cats. Spawn Cat. Spawn Cat's a cat. Spawn Cat's a cat. But look, guys, I can get on this part now. I just can't ever get past this part. I may have done a little bit of practicing off stream because I, I was worried I'd be trapped here forever. And uh, 
from one of the hermits I watched, yeah, I'm going to be trapped here for a while, I feel like, because it took Joe Hills, one of the hermits, uh, like an hour and a half to get past this stage. He even called in Cub and, you know, had him show him some pointers and it took Cub a little bit <laughs> to do this too. So, we're gonna, we're gonna try to, to do this. No, so close. But yes, I watched Joe Hills' video and was like trying to figure out like how the heck did he do this? How did he get past this? Because he's not like a parkour expert either. He admits this. He has, he apparently hadn't been doing parkour since season one of Hermitcraft, so um, parkour is not his thing either. But yeah, that's a thing. That is a thing indeed. Um. Ooh. I did not notice that pattern. That, that, that's bone blocks, I think. No. Yeah, good Yeah, good luck with it. Yeah, I know. Took me forever. It's gonna take me a while. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be earning any Hermit Stars tonight. I might just have to press the, the give up button <laughs> to get to the next part. Um, parkour's not my strong suit, so. But I mean, even if, if, if even cub fan had a little bit of trouble with it then I, I I don't know what my hope is you're just getting headaches trying to do math oh that's not fun I don't like math what you doing spawn cat where you going oh is, is it because you're on my lap and you're expecting treats all right here you go spawn cat thank you for showing up we love you we appreciate you have some treats Good cat. So I guess don't do math. Yes. Don't do math. Uh. Alright, Spawn Cat. Here's your treat. You've had, like, four treats now, and now my hand is mildly slimy from cat spit. Hello, Darcidian. I'm here dealing with a cat, and... Treats. The Azza of the Rack. I mean, I guess. Also, I don't know when this happened, but I got like a bug bite or something, because now my arm's itchy. I mean, it also could be allergies. Uh, I don't know. Fun fact, I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> Vesper, it is Darcidian. Yes, it is. It's, it's Darcidian. It is indeed the Darcidian. Dang it! Could have made that. Should have made that. Ah, oh, I hate these four block jumps. Cub! Beat the beat the granite wall. Who is Smug Cat? Who is Smug Cat? I don't have a Smug Cat. I mean, all my cats are pretty smug. But it's 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 Spawn Cat. Spawn Cat's on my lap. She's been given treats and she's chilling. She's chilling. I do not have a smug cat. Well, I mean, I do, but I don't. In fact, Darcy, you're the smug cat. You're <laughs> you're the smug cat. Alright, so from what I remember, Cub Fan did some jumping to build up momentum or whatever. And then he like leapt and like flew over these four blocks and landed it. Like he stuck it. So, Spawn Cat, would you like to leave without destroying all my stuff? Alright, Spawn Cat, go. <sighs> this cat, guys, this cat. All right, Spawn Cat has left my lap and is no longer in danger of murdering all my items. Let's see, how do we, how should we do this? It's so like this. I feel like I'm just an idiot, just jumping up and down, 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 up and down. I'm afraid to jump because it took me so long to, to get up here. <laughs> Oh, darn it. Darn it. Darn it. 
Darn it, stupid doors. So, like, I, the tricks I know so far is that you, you, you do best if you stand on this blue concrete. That, that was from Cub himself when I was watching Joe's videos. You jump on this, or you stay at, st start here. Uh, you jump on that, and then you quickly jump to the next one because you need the momentum to get to the second one. Otherwise, if you wait, you're just going to fall, which I found out many times by myself. Um, and you also have to be careful of these stupid upside-down stairs. Because they, they're all over the place. And I, I can't I can't even get up this thing. I'm too busy talking. My, my brain doesn't calculate. And I keep over jumping it. Oh my goodness. Whose idea was this again? Whose idea was it for me to do parkour? Because I, 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 I mean, honestly, technically, I don't know. Some random person from last stream... And they didn't follow, so like, I, I can't remember their name. <laughs> uh, yeah, some stranger dude. Dang it. Although, Darcyden, you did try to get me to do the harder parkour. Once I got to the parkour. Dang it. I feel like now I'm never going to be able to do this. Spawn cat, come back. You were my good luck charm. Spawn cat. Please. Come back. Yeah, okay, after a little while, I'm gonna- I'm gonna give up and skip to the next thing. I apologize, guys, but I will not be legitimately earning a Hermit Star, I don't think. I- I'm not that- I'm not that great. <laughs> I- I can apparently PvP now, but I- I can't- I can't parkour. I will never be a, you know, well-rounded- well-rounded Hermit, or Minecrafter, I guess. I say as I climb- manage to get on this part. Oh my goodness. I hate you, door. Can I just can I just like break you? No. It, it, it would take too long. Oh my goodness. Um No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like this. I hate parkour. Why, why did I jump back here? I don't know. Some hermits can do parkour. They the Azarat cannot. No, that should, that should have been okay. It should have been okay. I'm so I'm terrible at this. Also, hi guys. I didn't actually like say hi in F5 mode like I usually do. But hello. Welcome. I see your faces. Or well, you see my face. I can't see your face. So that'd be weird. Um. Ah. <sighs> Dang it. Dang nabbit. Alright, at 8.20 we will we will skip this one. If I can't do it in 7 minutes, then I'm never doing it. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna I don't wanna have the whole thing. Do I love your faces? Um, I mean I've seen some of your faces, so yes. I you know. I will say yes. I do love your faces. I'm a good at I, I, I am I am good at making Minecraft faces. Dercidian knows this. You guys technically know because I've made multiple skins. I made Darcidian a skin. I have offered Rutabega a skin. If you do makes for one of us. What? What Vesper? I'm I'm confused. What make what what makes for one of us? Loving the faces? Do you not love your face? I mean, I don't I, I don't love my face either. I mean, that's kind of why I I hide behind this face, this pixelated face. So, um, but yes, I will. I, if if that's what you mean, I will love your face for you. Dang it. Dang nabbit. <sighs> I'm gonna break this concrete in anger. No, I'm not actually going to. 
I did, I'd have to replace it. And then I'd feel bad. I'm gonna feel bad over a pixel. Darcidian says, I love my face after I shave. I love it less when I get scruffy. Well, <laughs> good for you, Darcidian. I'm glad you love your less scruffy face. Nope, it's too meh. Vesper. You are lovely, I am sure. We do not tolerate, uh, we, we do not, I, I don't know, how do, how do I put it? Um, we knew, do, no, that's not, that's not it. Um, we preach love of the people there who are awesome in our chat. There, I think that, I think that sounds good. Yes, we encourage self-love, except for don't listen to me about my own love because I do not love myself, so. Um, we encourage self-love of everyone but me. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, yeah. Four minutes, guys. Four minutes. Dang it. Oh. Dang it. Punch the wall! There we go. Okay. That's why we must love the Azerac extra amounts. Darcidian! How dare you encourage things like that! I am but a mere pixel person. Very pixel. Okay, I don't know why I zoomed in like that. I apologize for... That was weird. Vesper, d don't don't hop on the Darcidian train. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna have to like make like a sticker or something that says the Darcidian train. Be like choo choo. It's gonna have like compliments to me. It's gonna be weird. Ah, <sighs> people. I'm never gonna get this part. I apologize, Cub fan, if you ever see this video, but um, yeah, I I I, I don't I don't like this part. Oh, uh, I don't know how you do it. Yeah, start sitting you and your kiki ki keys there. I kiki keyed for you. Are you happy? <sighs> That's his mischievous laughter, by the way, Vesper. I've heard it in person. As he said before, he is a dork. He's, he's, he's mostly Rutabaga's dork, but, you know. Dang it! Ah, I hate this. I don't like parkour. I don't like these frickin' doors. I lost my momentum. I don't know why I tried to jump anyway. Dang it, I always over jump it. Dang it. I can't win. Dang it. All right, let's eat a pork chop. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I might be wasting time at this point. Vesper! And, oh, Rudibeg is here now. Hello. Did you hear my comment that, you know, Darcidian is mostly your dork? Because he is. He's mostly your dork. He was kiki keying in chat again, so. I don't know if you saw that. <sighs> okay, well it's 820, I give up. I'm 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 sorry, I'm not earning a star, Cub. Um I'm not I'm not earning a star. 
We skipped. We skipped. I'm sorry. I didn't want to, but I don't want to spend an hour and a half plus like like Joe did. Cause that's 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 how it would go. Is I would be there for like an hour and a half. It's well known that uh Darth Sidian is your dork. Is this is this what I'm hearing? Hey look, see the door one was hard, but now I'm like nailing all these other ones. I say that and then I fail. Say that and I fail. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at this. Dang it. Hello, Gollum. Oh, I'm good. I, I, I'm, I'm glad for that, uh, Rutabaga. That you are aware that he is, he is pretty much your dork. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be fun. Nope. I saw Joe do this one a little bit. He was asking if he could open the trap doors, which I don't think you can. So. Hey, look at that. We did it! Woo! I jinx myself. I know. I, I very much jinx myself. That, that's, 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 that's partly why we, we skipped over the door, probably. Because I, I could never do that door. Dang it. Dang it. Alright, let's see if we can do the rest of these. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this course probably if we can finish it. Hopefully the rest of it legitimately we don't earn a star, unfortunately. Cause we did skip over one part. Which is a little sad, because I could then be an honorary one-star hermit. Um. Aw, you're proud of me. Thank you, Vesper. And thank you, Rutabaga. I mean, I, 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 feel, I like to think I'm sort of decent, because I jump around all the time. But I'm probably... Yeah, okay. I'm not... <laughs> oh, I'm not fantastic. That's for sure. Also, I did uh, do vanilla tweaks for my own stuff, so next time I stream with the others, which should be Friday, we'll probably be playing Bed Wars again. Um, you'll get to see the vanilla tweak stuff that I have on there, because I have some cool things that, you know, change little bits of the game. Um, including the XP bar, which is probably one of my favorite ones so far. Oh, schnitzel on a cracker. Um, there we go. Ah, look, we made it. Oh, and we did it. Oh, dear. We're going to have to do one of these. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, huh. Oh, dear. I know how to ladder. I know how to ladder. Yes, we did that. Woo. Okay. Okay. Whew. Okay. What do we do now? <laughs> okay, I see that. Oh, it was just that door. That that door one was was difficult. I, it, it was very difficult. Ouch. That that was difficult. Slime. Don't touch. It attacked me. That slime attacked me, guys. You saw it. You saw it happen. Bush. Was attacked by that bush. Oh dear. How am I supposed to? Okay, I think I'm supposed to jump on there and slide between the thing. What does he think I am? Stretchy? Am I like a stretchy person? I'm not very stretchy, and I'm I'm, I'm not nearly as flexible as uh, as real me, I guess. They used to be flexible, but like, look, this is this. I'm I'm a square, in a rectangle. I'm not I, I'm not meant to stretch. Uh, but let's let's try it anyway. And it would help if I jumped. It would help if I jumped. I feel like the corner ones are the hardest. Cub fan, why do you make the corner so hard? I am not a gumball! How dare you, Dar City, and I am not a gumball. Dang it. You're a gumball. I am not a piece of taffy either. I made the mistake of 
trusting Jimmy Neutron and thinking that saltwater taffy was delicious. It's disgusting. I don't like taffy. That's what I got for trusting a cartoon, though, is I thought saltwater taffy was delicious. Or at least I thought it was gonna... See, that? no, that's the thing. It was it was an episode of Jimmy Neutron where they had to go get a treasure, and at the, it, it turned out the treasure was saltwater taffy. And so my cousin and I and my siblings, I think, we all convinced our parents to buy us a bag of saltwater taffy. I tried it, I hated it, and I never forgave myself for thinking that I would ever like such a thing. So... Dang it. Let me jump. Yeah, no. Saltwater taffy's not my friend. It's mostly that it's, it's sticky and I don't like things getting stuck in my teeth. So it's like, it's weird. Okay, so I gotta jump like, like sideways. It, it would help if I can jump. Space bar, please work. What was wrong with it? I've never had it. Well, that's, that's like, I don't really remember. I just remember that it was like stretchy and chewy and just, it wasn't, I wasn't a fan of it. But I don't think it was, it didn't, it didn't, didn't taste very good, really. Um, but it, it's been years since I had it. I was like a little kid when I had it. Um, and I was more upset over my betrayal of, of Jimmy Neutron betraying me. You know, then, then probably, <laughs> probably anything. It's like, this is not delicious. I was lied to by a cartoon. I trusted cartoons too much as a child. I probably still kind of do. <clears throat> but that's, it's fine. Dang it. Okay, so maybe I have to turn, turn and jump. We will, we will turn and jump. Turn and jump and jump and turn. We're going to fall and break something. I don't know, I was trying to rhyme and I lost it. Um, let's see. Yeah, oh, we gotta turn. Turn, as a Turn! <sighs> yeah, who knows. Maybe you'd like it, Darcidian. I can't say, for sure. You like a lot more stuff than I do. Like, I mean, y you like vegetables and things. And I vegetables and I don't get along very well. Dang it. I got the turn, but not quite the, the movement. Not quite the mo movement. Dang it. Bounce. Oh no. I overshot. I got too enthusiastic. It was too enthusiastic. Alright, and one, and two, and three, and one, and... Okay, that, that didn't happen. Shh, didn't happen. You saw nothing! You saw nothing again. Ah, <sighs> my goodness. Punch a wall. Grr. Give me a punch. Bum, bum, bum. Damn, bum. <sighs> I'm gonna punch this. Punch the concrete. There. Cub and his corners. Why are the corners so mean to me? Yeah. I exactly, Vesper. You you got my back. Dang it. These corners. What, what is what is back here by the way? I'm gold. Ooh, slippery. Wee, we're taking a small detour. Wee! Okay, we're done. D tiny detour is done. Sorry, I got distracted, guys. There, there was ice and sliding around and gold. And I think that's the uh, the golf course that he made. Because Cub 
had to do it all. He, he did so many fancy things. Um, he is a pretty cool YouTuber. I recommend that if you would like to check him out because, and well, any of the hermits, honestly, because they are all freaking fantastic. You hear me, hermits? You're fantastic, and I love all of you. You're great. You inspire so many of us, including me. I would, probably would not be streaming today if it wasn't for you and your. Oh, jeez, they want to zoom in on my mouth. Um, but yeah, you're amazing. So thank you for being awesome. Um. Yes. All right. Let's let's see. No. <laughs> I need to figure out a way to turn between this, like, I gotta turn. Like, how do you... That's the, that's the problem, I guess, right? So you jump on here, but then you gotta, like, squeeze past. Maybe I have to, like, jump and then kind of bounce up this... Oh, I guess I can't... I can jump here. Hmm. Science. It has explanations that I cannot describe to you because I'm not a scientist. I'm also not very good at science. Although I do kind of like science, but shh, don't tell anyone. Hey, I made it! Oh, goodness. I, 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 over, I overshot. I made it. That was exciting. We did it, guys! It didn't. We didn't have to cheat. Or, well, I guess we didn't cheat. We skipped the button. We pressed the button. We didn't have to do that this time, though. And we didn't have to do it that time. And then we didn't have to do it that time. Look at us. We've already skipped ahead. Ha! You corner curse, we have overcome you. We have overcome the corner curse. Let's see if we can get... Oh. That was just me being too excited, I guess. But, um... I'm not good at parkour, but I'm doing decently, I guess. Oh. It's very slippery. I kind of wish I could, like, do it in, like, this, but I feel like that's too weird. Oh, hey, look. Hey! I might actually be doing better. Oh. And then that happens. And then that happens, and then that happens. Let's try again. Look at my shiny boots. Oh, actually, that's part of the mod. I don't know if you guys see, but, like, the shine goes up in, like, little rows. It's, it's part of the, the, the resource pack, actually, so. Instead of the normal default Minecraft shine, it's got a, it's got a fancy shine. Fancy. Which you can't see because it always zooms in on my head. Oh, we made it. We jumped over. We did it. All right, let's see. Um Oops. I wonder if we could have done it in this mode. That that thing. Okay, so we got it. We got to we got to jump. I don't know why, but for some reason this this mode feels slightly better. Dang it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Eh. No, okay. We're gonna we're gonna try it like nope, like this. There we go. There we go, guys. Um. Oh yeah. What? Well, I forgot for a second what we were doing. Me and my scatterbrain. Okay, so I'm not very good at that bit. It's always the slime. Slime is always mean to me. Hmm. Eat some pork chop. But also, yeah, if you didn't notice uh, the little tiny haunches, as Izuma calls them, it, it shows up how much it fills up when I eat. So you can see it's glowing and there's four of them. Well done. But yeah, the um, whole resource pack thing is right here. Hermitcraft Season 7. Figured I'd show you guys. 
Yeah, no, I did, I did do a little of my own tweaking to the vanilla tweaking. Given up with the math, too annoying to do mentally. Ah, uh, I don't blame you, Vesper. Again, math is... Math is not my friend. I did, I did decently in it, I guess, growing up in school and all that, but it's, it's definitely not my friend. Alright, maybe, maybe I have to, like, build up some momentum on one of these things. Like, do a lot of bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. See, I, I start bouncing and then I don't want to stop. That's, that's the only problem. And then I don't know when to jump, and then I do that. And, you know, if you could, I'd, I'd probably face plant. Which you can't really do in Minecraft that well, unless you're Elytra. Wearing an Elytra. How do you do this? How? Oop, I forgot you could break that. Did you, you saw nothing. It's very squishy. Okay, so you gotta jump. Dang it. You need you need to be like higher to jump higher. That's the the thing I know. It's like the higher you jump down on it, you know, the the more bounce you get. But um, it's kind of hard because these blocks they're the same height, same distance. It was solving for a variable when three values have that variable as a part. That sounds that sounds not fun. I was trying to see if this was a slime block hidden underneath, but it's not. I, I, I will say that I'm sorry for you, Be Vesper, but also I'm very glad I don't have to do any of that. It's been it's been a while since I've had to do math, and I don't want to do math again. Uh, dang it. I can't do this. This one's difficult. I don't like this. What's in this room? More cactus. Ooh. Bubbly. Okay. I'll... Cub. Is that Cub's face? It is. It's like Cub's face on a thing. The thing is, I don't have to. It's not work. It's for a game. Oh. So, Vesper, you're like willingly suffering, I guess, then. That, that's the... Why? I mean, I, I ask that when I'm suffering for this, for this, you know, for, for the entertainment and amusement. Dang it, how do I do that? I feel like I have to go watch Joe Hills now. Joe, how did you do this? I did it, guys! I don't know how I did it! Yeah, are you not entertained? I mean, I hope you're entertained. I mean, I, I, I want to be entertaining. I want to I wanna make people happy. It's, it's like pretty much 95% of why I want to do, of why I'm doing this in the first place is because I like making people happy. So. I also saw Zuma do it, do it during one of his chats. Oh, did he? Just randomly, you know, just... Because I know he did it for his, uh, you know, 100 questions video. Was He was doing the parkour. Yeah, his, or his 99 questions, it was he was doing it then. Trying to understand how many times I have to run the mission to be almost guaranteed the drop. Ah. Interesting, Vesper. Yeah, um... Yeah, I know he was he was he was running it in the you know he was answering questions or whatever. So it was kind of it was kind of cool watching him um, do it. But uh, he he was doing a lot of the the button skipping. Like he wasn't trying to to you know I guess win a hermit star because the only way to win the hermit star is to do it legitimately without you know skipping the thingamajigs. Um. So. Ha. Huh. So I guess, I, you know, I guess technically I'm even, I'm doing better than Azuma. Just a little bit. Um, also, learning stuff is fun. That is true. I do like learning stuff. Just, it, it, I, math is not high up on that list of learning stuff. I 
I mean, most of my learning stuff has been um, self-discovery of my soul. Well, not my soul, but the, the me and what makes me me, sort of, uh, of that vein. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out a little bit more what makes me tick so I can better handle myself since, unfortunately, I'm stuck with me. I'm stuck with me. Can't get rid of it. Trust me, I, I, I've tried. They don't. They, they, they won't take me back at a store. I like it because it has a logical conclusion. Dursidian. What? Dursi Why are you mentioning ticks, Dursidian? What? what they don't don't talk about ticks. Ticks are creepy. They suck your blood, and it's just yuck, yuck. Well, that's good, Vesper. I'm, gl I'm glad you find entertainment in it. There's a set answer to work towards. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Fortunately, mine does not have a set answer. Um, dang it. Mine has no set answer, really. Mostly because people are dum-dums, and they haven't done enough research. We're not in the era of enough research has been done on this, so, unfortunately. Dang it. So close. So close, but so far. Close, but no cigar. I don't know where I got that from, by the way. I've said that for years, though. I've heard it's from, like, a car carnival fair thing. It's apparently you, you did carnival games and, like, you, you won a cigar, which personally is the worst prize you would, could ever get. Um, it's like, hey, here, kid, you know, or person, have some free cancer-causing stuff. It's like, gee, thanks. Dang it. I will pass this. Dang it. Probably just, you know, not yet. Alright. How much further do we have to go? And we've, this is the third corner, so there should be only one more left, and then, you know... Then we should be good. Because I don't want to spend all stream doing this, as lovely as this is. Um, there are more hermits to explore. And I need I need to see Falsy's base. Falsy is a, is, is a hermit I do very much connect with. Um, I remember watching her videos and later telling Darsidian that she is just like me, where she do, when she doesn't know what to do, she hops around. Which is what I do on Minecraft. Like, we both we both hop around in, in Minecraft. I don't know if she hops around in real life. I don't exactly do any hopping in real life so much either. Because I, that'd be weird. But, um... We do... We, we, we both do hopping. I was trying trying to do this, but apparently I decided not to. Dang it. I'm trying to do it this way, because... Who knows? Maybe I'll do better this way. Nope. Not yet. Not quite yet. But yes, I have to go hop around False's base and feel the kindred spirit that she is. Although I can't, I, I'm not the PvP queen like she is, obviously. Um, there, there are people who are, a lot of people who are a lot better at parkour than I am. Or parkour. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah. Screaming noises. <sighs> okay. But take a second, sip some water, and then we'll continue. And you guys get to just stare at the wall, and I apologize. <sighs> My goodness. I don't like parkour. I don't know how people do it so well. They just have some kind of part in their brain that makes them amazing at it, and it's not me. That is not me. I don't have that amazing part in my brain. Yeah, break that quartz. Anger. Okay. <sighs> Slime block. You and I are one. We shall work together to get to that. To that, to there, from here, to there. That 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 is the goal. Okay, slime block. Can 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 we be friends? 
Maybe friend slime block? Dang it. I guess not. I guess, I guess we, we, we cannot be friends, slime block. <sighs> what is in there? I'm, I'm getting distracted by what, what what is this this blue thing? Ooh, what? Hello? Snake temple. I'm, I'm, oh, there's there's no way there. Okay. Okay. I, I know I'm getting distracted again. I apologize. No one wanted my distractions. Distracting myself from my failure. Apparently I take on an accent. But, you know, whatever. That happens. I want to know what's in there. Is that a door? It is. No. Must, we must... We must keep moving forward. I know, the rude slime block. It, 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 I even complimented it. I told it it was amazing. You know, just... just it didn't want to help me. Didn't didn't want to help me. Ah. <sighs> ah. Uh, goodness. <laughs> oh. This place makes me cry. Cub fan, I hope you are nourished by my tears. As I like look up at the sky like you're some kind of, you know, Egyptian deity. Staring down at me. She very well could be. Who knows? Dang it, let me up! Yeah. So, like, I know you, you can get stuck. So I need to make sure I when I jump, I, like, land here and go and touch it, I guess. Getting distracted randomly too relatable. Yeah, see, it's, it, that, that's... That... I, apparently I'm relatable. I don't know if that is that a good thing that I'm relatable then? Uh Vesper. Is that a good relatable thing to have? I f and I know the hermits get very distracting get distracted. They they're also distracting. But uh they they they're very distracting. They get distracted. So, I mean I, I guess that's a good thing. I mean, I get distracted like the hermits do, the hermits get distracted like I do. Dang it. Dang it, guys. <sighs> Slime block, please. Work with me. We have to get out of here so we can find false. We gotta find false. Like, I can see you got a face. Like, there's an eye, there's another eye, and there's a mouth, and there's a nose, and you do not look happy with me. Probably because I'm jumping on your face, but, you know, it's... it's oh, that's, like, really easily broken. I don't want to break that. Um, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Can I can I just like skip it and, and jump up on this? No. I can see the future. But I'm trapped. Back here. Yeah, come on slime. I'm, I'm trying. The slime doesn't want to work with me. Blame the slime. How dare you, slime! You probably can't get me up there anyway! I will motivate you out of spite. Spite noises. Oh! See, see, see? See what we can accomplish? We were so close. Hello, Spawn Cat. Are you here to get on the spiting? It makes me feel more kind of connected instead of just being a random person on the other side of the stream. Well, that's good, Vesper. I don't want you to feel like just the, you know, random person on the other side of the stream. I like to interact with my people. Dang it. Uh, I like to interact with people. This is a, you know, it's a fun way. Like, I love watching the hermits do it. I love when they, you know, say hi to me and stuff. So, I want to make people feel happy that way, too. Is just, you know, being able to be like, like, like this and be like, Hello, I see you. And I love all your faces. So, you know. I always feel like I'm chanting a little bit of XB when I say stuff like that. Um, he's a he's a super sweet hermit. I love watching his videos. I need to get caught up again because unfortunately he pumps them out pretty quick. Um, dang it! Okay, you know I'm gonna test something real quick just 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 to see. Okay, so 
He does. It is. I can jump on it like that. Okay. So if I actually were to, were to hit it, then it should. I should properly go up. So I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know. I put it back where it went. Although now that I look at it, it feels like that, that that's impossible. <laughs> oh, it feels impossible, guys. All right, slime. Come on. Chat and I are counting on you. We are counting on you. So let's 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 see if we can do this. No. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to deal with the slime block and the ladders. Ladders. Do 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 do. Why am I suddenly singing a song? Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. See, this is one of, like one of those parts where I want to be like XB, especially be like, dang it, Bobby, because that's one of his catchphrases. Is he just, for whatever reason, says, dang it, Bobby. Which I, I think is a reference from an adult TV show that I don't really watch. Um, it's not Family Guy. It's, uh, it's one of those shows. I don't know. American Dad, maybe? No. Some, something weird. Ah, King of the Hill. Thank you, Darcydian. I, I knew it was from something like that. Also, Vesper says, like, I joined a Discord server from a page, the world, you know, yeah, the WW Discord where I first saw you, and interacting with the admins, and them seeing more human than the unattainable person they are on the page were just strange. Yeah, see, I know his name is Bobby, Darcydian. But yeah. I mean, I'm glad you feel that way, Vesper. I'm usually too scared to even talk in the Willow World um, chat or Discord. So I usually don't say anything. Like, um, technically I won something from, from, from Willow like two years ago. And she never responded back to me after she went to sleep. And so I've just been quietly and awkwardly waiting for her to hopefully uh, be like, Oh yeah, hey, you, you won something. And I, I never followed up, but I, I've, I've been too shy. <laughs> I've been too shy to tell her. It's terrible. Um, it was during it was during the first the first anniversary I think of Willow's World. Is I was I was there doing all the gifts and stuff, and I was interacting with everyone. And so I, like I won a prize, but I never got to find out what the prize was. And um, unfortunately, anxiety has kept me from <laughs> forever finding out. So I've never actually reached out to her on the Discord or anywhere else. You left it now. It's been changing a lot. Oh, I was not aware of that. Um, I know some other people in, they're still there, but I don't really talk to them either. So. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's kind of sad that it's changing. Uh, I assume not for the better, really, since you left. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, can we skip this one? Can we, like, all collectively agree that I can skip this one? Because otherwise I might cry. <laughs> it's, 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 this, this slime block is mean to me. It's mean. It's very mean to me. I don't like the slime block. Oh, thank you, Darcidian. I will, I will try one more time. One more time. And then, you know, now that I've been granted permission, I hate you. Um, I'm, I'm going to skip. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not earning any hermit stars. How the heck are you supposed to do this one at all? Oh. Most of the regulars are dropping for their own reasons, so the whole dynamic is going. Oh. Yeah, that does sound a little... A little bad, I guess, you know. Yeah, I mean, the only time I ever really interacted with anyone was during the, the, um, what was it? The, the, the first year anniversary event where everyone was kind of, like, there. Like, I was in the thing, but I wasn't talking. Like, I don't think I spoke a word to anyone there. But I was sending a whole bunch of gifts and interacting. Everyone, you know, making everyone laugh just silently. Um, uh, because, again, I'm too shy. I don't, like, sometimes I don't even know how I'm doing this. 
because I'm super duper shy. Um, but yeah, I mean, here I am. So, so, somehow, I I can't do it on I can't do it on Discord apparently, but I, I I can I can chat with random you know, internet people I guess. Of course, you guys aren't random random internet people now. You're 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 my people. So you know that's pretty cool. Um, how am I supposed to do this one? Dang it. Yeah, but I... Ugh. Can I, like... Can I bounce off the glass? Like, some kind of... Oh. Uh, well, it's nice to have you here. Aw, Vesper. I should be saying that to you guys. Because it's nice to have you here. Because it is. I mean, otherwise it'd just be a lot more of, you know, talking to myself. Nope, I cannot... I cannot bounce off the glass like a... Uh, bouncy ball. I used to collect bouncy balls. But, um, not so much anymore. So can, I, can I jump from this way? Maybe? Dang it. Can I jump on top of this? No, I can't. What's in here? Nothing's in here. Yep, nothing's in there. I mean, I figured it'd be weird if you put random stuff in there. <sighs> I always feel like there's going to be a slime block under there, but there never is. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, there's a ladder in there. Alright, I feel like maybe it's one of those momentum jumps where you just have to keep going. Nope, it is not. It's not that way. That was terrible. Ugh. I don't know why, but for a second I thought that was a zombie. Like, it had the coloring, you know? The pants, the green shirt. Just needed the head. the wall again. Anger noises. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. What's in here? Ancient pottery. Fancy. Alright, back out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't like this one. It's not much easier than the other. We're gonna be trapped here forever. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe, like, if we don't do this in, like, the next ten minutes, uh, we're just gonna have to, like, go past this because I don't want to spend the whole stream here. We've already been here for an hour, you know? And I don't, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I do want to explore more stuff and see more things. Unless, of course, you're, you're, you want me to just, you know, do parkour and fail terribly at it, mostly. Because there's a lot of that, you know. Dang it. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe the next ten minutes. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. <sighs> How does this work? How do I go? How do I do this? Why are there so many? What is this? One, two, yeah. What? Why are there so many two, so many four block jumps? Cub, do you hate me? Why is this so difficult? I don't know how to do this. 
I'm not a parkour master. I wonder if Dream could do this. <laughs> I feel like if anyone could do this, you know, it'd be it'd be like Dream. Just, you know, he does parkour. He's he's freaking fantastic at it. I, on the other hand, am very much not. I'm very much not a parkour master. Okay, yeah. Um. <sighs> Frustration. I did. I did see that Darcidian. I saw that. It was. It was Im too impossible for him, as he you know put it, because he's great at parkour. So yeah. I did. I mean, that one was difficult, too, but it's only it only had, like, the one four jump, and I mean, even, like, you know, like, Grian did it, and I think False was the first one to, to actually complete it. Dang it. I want to punch the ice, but I know if I do that, it'll, like, break, and then it'll flood, and it, it'll be a whole thing. I, like... I don't know, do I... I know you can't, like, jump in midair, but I wish you could. It's like, double jump. I can't even regular jump, apparently. What was that? Was that a, I guess that was a particle. But yes, I saw, I saw, I did indeed see B-dubs fail on the parkour. I also saw several of the hermits technically, you know, not do the parkour properly. Uh, or they were supposed to, like, slip around the glass piece and instead they, they used, like, a rock. Or the, the stone that was jutting out from the side. I think Grian did that, especially. Okay, um, can I skip this one too, guys? Because I'm not doing much better than I did with that one just it's it's way difficult and I don't know maybe I'm stressed because we're, we've been stuck here for so long or you know something but that, I, I'm not I'm not doing well I'm not doing well on this and I can't even like jump anymore for some reason come on jump 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 spacebar works I just it, it won't let me jump dang it <sighs> my goodness my goodness, guys. Uh, yuck. Blech. Yeah, let me know if I can skip this one, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like I keep asking to skip. Oh, I just really am not that good. All right, thank you. We'll do this this last half-hearted attempt. Yep, and off we go. Oh, great! It's soul sand. How do you even do soul sand? Like soul sand sucks your your soul out of your boots, basically. I'm curating content. I don't, what does that mean, Darcidian? I feel like I need a definition. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. I see why now he says we don't need soul. We can't have soul speed. Oh, I forgot that I named my shoes Kitty Socks. <laughs> I mean, and to be fair, in real life, I'm also wearing Kitty Socks. Like, they're, they're socks and they have casts on them. <laughs> uh, so. It's, 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 it's not wrong. I feel like all these are going to be so difficult to do. Let's see, maybe I can. Nope. I was trying not to overjump that. Darcidian, don't you start. Grr. I hate Solacin. <laughs> 
Is there, is there like an, anything else? Like, okay, that now. I don't. I don't. I always think that's a, gonna be a slime block. One day it's gonna be a slime block, and it's like, I'm gonna totally like miss it just because. How am I expected to jump this when it's terrible? Nope. Okay, I'm... I don't know if my heart's in this anymore, guys. <laughs> this parkour is draining. It is, it is, it is difficult. My goodness. It's another four block jump too. Why are they all four bo block jumps? It's like I'm trying to stalk the block. If I can intimidate it. Intimidate. Intimidate the soul of sand. The sand soul. Nope, okay. You know what? We're, 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 blech, blech, blech. we're skipping. I, I, I apologize, guys, but this, that, I'm, I'm getting tired of this. Oh. Oh. That was the end. Oh, we didn't earn any hermit stars. Mm. Super fun to speed run. False. Challenging but fun. See, the hermits did it. Um, but yeah, no, definitely not me. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not leaving a sign. Uh, okay, let's 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 go find some more stuff. You know. Um, punch this as our chest. There we go. Uh, we'll leave the anvil. Put our other stuff on our hermit craft respawn kit. Uh, blah blah blah. Hey, I survived the machine. Yep, I did. I did do do that. All right, sword. Uh, tone of undying. This rockets. Uh, shield anvils and my thing. That. All right, let's get out of here, guys. It's training. Must be. Ha ha ha, Vesper, yes. Must be the soul sand. Ha ha. It was, it was quite draining, that soul sand, you know? Soul sand is quite draining. We should just fling ourselves down in Shibalba. Alright. Uh, how do you get out of here? I forget. I think, well, we didn't even exit through the, or enter through the normal way. We made it out, guys. Look, we're out. Let's get to the top of the pyramid. Wee! It's so tall, we're going all past the clouds. And of course, the pyramid is covered in gold at the top. And also pressure plates, but, you know. Woo! Hey, there's a llama up here. I remember someone posting about you, llama. Oh, well. I'm not riding the llama. Excuse me, llama. What? Pharaoh's aura. Oh. So you're the pharaoh. Interesting. Alright, so... Which way from here? Um, hold on. Let me check my map real quick, guys. Because I did download a map for this. So I could kind of, you know, <laughs> see what the thing is. Oh, I hear phantoms. Ah, oh, no! I haven't slept in a bed! Um. Ouch. Alright, we're going to create it for a second while I stare at the map. Looking at the map, looking at the map, 
So, False's base is straight ahead. But I also want to visit Zombie Cleo Zoo. So, um... Should we should we go to False first, or should we go to to, to Cleo? Because I do want to visit both of them. You know, they're 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 both fantastic hermit ladies. Um, maybe we'll take off from a direction and you know see which see which way that takes us. Hopefully, in the right direction. Uh, technically, I think Cleo is closer. I think Cleo is closer. Yeah, she she's a little bit closer. So we'll we'll try to find her. Oh dear, the phantoms are after us again. No, run. Run. Alright, I think it's this way. I wanna say it's this way. Oh gosh. Um Uh, I gotta look back at the map again. Um, Alright, we're gonna fly kind of high. And this is something that you shouldn't do because, you know, Scar learned this the hard way. But do not- oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ouch. This is why you do not fly and look at your phone. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so we we are kind of going the wrong way. Because we're not supposed to go through the Mesa. The Mesa is more Ren Dogs thing. But hey, look! We're at Pacific! Which was, you know, never finished, but here's Pacific. The very dangerous Pacific. Holy cow, Pacific, why are you so dangerous? <gasps> and it's the shopping district again! Hello! Okay, distractions, distractions. So I think, let's go find Cub's Pyramid again and we'll take off properly. Alright, here we go. So now it's this way, I believe. We and Zoom! I'm so glad Azuma taught me that trick watching him on Crash of, the, Clash of the Creators, where you can go faster with one rocket if you dive down and then go back up. It makes one rocket last a lot longer. But I think we're going the right way now. Sort of. It's kind of hard. It's nighttime. Where's B-dubs? I need a bed! Do-do-do-do! Oh dear, we're in a cloud. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, no, that's just a regular thing. Oh. We're lost. We're lost. We're lost in hermit craft. It's probably the best and the worst place to get lost is in hermit craft. Do to do, do to do, do, do. We're gonna stay over here real quick. Do do do. Ow. It's one of those times I wish I had a map. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, there's a bed. Um. Let's see if we can get into a bed. Oh, this 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 does not have this is not a bed. Excuse me. No. The monster's nearby. No. I want to get rid of the phantoms. There we go. Sleep real quick. There we go. Hey, we did it. Alright. Oh, hello, sir. Alright, time to look at the map again. We're safe. We're in a parked location. 
Let's look at the map. I honestly have no idea. Oh. I'm not very good at map reading either, guys. Um. Alright, let's see. Hello. Please stay away from me. See if we can find any identifying landmarks. Hello. Cleo. Where art thou, Cleo? I mean, to be fair, it's probably going to get lost either way. Hermitcraft is confusing, but just in general, Minecraft is also confusing. Horses! There's some horses! As B-dubs would say. But we're not going to stop for them, unfortunately. Too much to see. Too much Cleo we have to find. Alright, so here's a river. Ouch. Let's see if we can identify from the river. From the river we shall go, hopefully to a Cleo's house. I do not know where to go. I'm going to get a map. Let's see. Oh, uh, heck. Okay. Um, well then. This tells me nothing. But I can tell. But there's lots of puddles, which don't show up on the map. The water, the rivers show up on the map, but unfortunately, oh, they don't tell very tell me very much. I'm lost. I'm lost, guys. I should have gone through another nether portal instead. They were all clearly marked for a reason. Oh, wait, I forgot. I was in I'm in creative. I was like, why am I suddenly flying? I mean, I know I can fly, but you know. Hello. Alright, so here's water. Flower forest. Doo -doo -doo. Alright, so now we're near some water. Once again, consult the map. Interesting. We are very lost. So there might be like two places we might be at. <gasps> Fishies, hello. Uh. Um. So if it's that way, we'll we'll try this way. Cause if I if we're at where where I'm thinking we are, we have to go this way. Wait, wait. What's this? It's the map district. We found the map district. It's where the hermits ah uh, drowned. Um. Okay, so if I'm here, I can look back at the thing and find out where I'm where I need to be. I feel like that's labeled. Oh no. It's not labeled. Wait, yes it is. Map district. Okay, so we're at the map district. So... <gasps> Throne missing. Ooh. Ooh. Parkour. Parkour. Oh, it's all parkour. <laughs> like, li literally. Okay. Um... Reader, do not remove this, please. Oh, header. Okay. I thought it said reader. Gap. 9 by 4 title. Gap. Interesting. So he, he... 
redstoned it, as Cub Fan does. Because this was made by Cub Fan, and technically Zombie Cleo, but Cub Fan did run most of it, thanks, unfortunately, since Cleo was busy. Um, but yeah, let me get my bearings. Uh, let's see. So I think maybe if we go this way, we'd come to it. All right, we're going to try going this way, guys. Do do do. Do do do. Let's go this way. And if not, we'll go through back and go to the portal. We're just trying to travel in one direction for now. Yeah. I'm surprised the hermits don't get lost more often, but I guess after, you know, living in the world for like a year and a half, it, it makes sense that they wouldn't get lost like me. Yeah, okay, maybe we are lost again. Alright. We were that way. We were that way. Remember this as you look at the map yet again. Young creature. Okay, I don't quite see a desert. Unless we're getting close to the head games arena. Which we might be, so let's check. Um, let's dare to go this way again. Oh, head games, are you here? Head Games Arena? No, not quite. Ooh, I'm having some lag. Ah, so much lag, guys. Okay, yeah, we're going to head back. We're going to head back that way. We're going to head back that way. And go through the portal. Because that'll be easier. Than me trying to fudge my way through. Because I'm not good at all the directions that exist in hermit craft do 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 ba dum bum bum oh dear do we get lost again come on map district where are you there's a bee hello are you named Oh, it's a Corallus bee. Bee Rallis. I forgot about that. That's, that was one of the, the things I kept actually kept it was Bee Rallis. Hello, Bee Rallis. Hello. That's, 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 that's hilarious, guys. I, I'm honestly very amused. But yeah, we, we, we gotta find the shop. <laughs> we gotta find the thing. Oh, yeah, we're lost. I should have just gone through the portal. Should have just gone through the portal. Should have, should have, should have just gone through a portal. Oh, here it is. Woo, we made it back, guys. Oh, let's never do that again. In we go. Ooh. Spooky. And off we go. Wait. I gotta check the signs. Eh. Hub. Cub. 
Oh, they all go to Cub. Okay, well, we'll see if they diverge to Cleo. Hopefully. Off we go with our soul speed boots. Doo doo doo. I almost shot myself into the lava by going so fast. Hub. Cub. Map district. What is this? Map district. Yeah. Hey, hey, Strider. Uh, Cub's pyramid. Cub. Skeleton farm, cub that. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness. Who's who's is this? Oh. <laughs> I also have the Zuma um Hoglin uh skin thing. That's this that's funny. I'm I'm very amused. Who's is this? Cubs pyramid. Oh, so this is Cubs again. Oh my goodness. I feel like we're lost. Come on, Cleo. Hypno. Hypno. Alright, let's see where Hypno is on the map. So apparently this doesn't go to, like, Cleo's at all. Well, if we end up at Hypno's, I guess we'll go to false first because hypno is closer to false Ooh, creepy slightly slightly creepy hypno base oh dear ouch All right, let's go. We're going to Hypno. Creepy. Hello. You have a... Okay. You have weapons. So this is Hypno's base. Oh my goodness. I apologize, guys. I am terrible at directions. Which I've probably apologized like five times for. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so this is one of his islands. Let's get a sky view. Oh, hello. So this is a tinier island. So I think if we go. Oh, yep, here it is. It's here, guys. We're at Falsa's base. I didn't think I'd be so excited to fly into Falsa's base. This is really cool. Hey, look. Graceful. Lovely. Fantastic. Alright, so we'll see the Cub Scoots. Cu Cub Scoots. The Cub Scouts after this. But look, we're at Falsa's base. It's very futuristic indeed. Okay, where's where's the... the the thing where false where where's her her storage area? I need her storage area. Is it up? No, I don't think it's up. I think it's down. We we're down. And yeah, like look at this. She made these. But where where is her storage area? I forget. It's been a bit. I need to go into her storage era area and hop around like False does. Oh, here it is. To the top. But yes, False would just hop around on like these all the time. And just like talk to us. It was great because, I mean, that's what I do. <laughs> so I just hop around and I talk to you people. I talk to people and I talk to myself. This is her base. This is exciting. I'm in False's base. She's the, yeah, the, the... The first female hermit that I, like, connected with, honestly. Um, look, it's her stuff. <gasps> and she's got a book for us. Let's look at it, guys. Let's look at it. Here is a little thank you box if you're visiting my base. It includes all the items I had on me at the time of logging off. Feel free to use them as you wish. Always appreciate the support. Aw. 
and then her social media links, of course. That's great, false. We 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 love you. And of course, we're gonna we're gonna pinch um. Let's pinch her bow, because I need a bow. So that's good. We got her stuff. And um, we'll put this back. But thank you, false. Although our elytra is actually about to run out, so maybe we'll, we'll, we'll pinch her elytra too. We'll take this. And we'll switch it out. There we go. Thank you, Falsy. But yes, we're here, guys. Hermitcraft Season 7. Look at that. That's so cool. That is so cool. And here's the parkour. She did it, so she was a three-star hermit. I don't remember seeing her do the parkour, but she must have done it. She did it, like, maybe in one episode, I think. What's this? Oh, it's her banners. Ah, for false symmetry, yep. But, like, look, it's False's base! So oh, it's cramped in here. Something in here. Um, but look, we're in False's base. Did she name her cat? <laughs> she named her cat Voldemort. <laughs> oh, that's great. What did she name this one? Oh, there's a cloud. What's this? That this has no name. That cat also has no name. <laughs> oh, Voldemort. That's funny. We're gonna, we're gonna use False's bed. Just, just We're gonna... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna sleep in the bed. There we go. Oh my goodness, what? Okay. Ooh, that was spooky. We're in a cloud! Alright, so... I believe we can, yeah, we can fly out there, right? Oh dear. We're in a cloud. <gasps> Look guys, it's False's base! Yeah, False definitely went super futuristic with her base. Uh, last season. Um, which is pretty amazing. I mean, I've sort of thought about futuristic because it's easier to build. Like, it's more... Like, it. there's a there's a defined shape to these things, you know? Whereas, like, I like nature, but I'm not good at it. I'm not good at the organic. Um, ooh. But, so, like, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do something kind of futuristic-y. But maybe maybe it'll be more like Mumbo did in his season seven is where it's futuristic, but it's tied together with organic. You know, just kind of kind of merge it, so I can have my fancy symmetrical shapes, but then also add some organics. What is that? Is that a creature? Oh no, it's a ship. <laughs> it looked like some kind of weird giant monster. But look, it's her mushrooms. Wee, they're huge. And this is an alien spacecraft, possibly, like attacking the city, from what I remember. She kind of left the lore a little vague on, on purpose, you know, just kind of wasn't exactly sure. Oh, and we got some striders in here, if I can figure out how to get in here myself. I can show you, she's got some striders in here. Sovel, who is at a very precarious situation. Um... Where are the other? Oh, the others are all down. Okay. Hello. We've got Joel. We've got Tylen. Or Tal Talon. Ula. Cade. Dash. Captain. Oh, so you're the captain. Why are you down here? Um, Gallant. Uh, Zora. And Zahn. Cool. Yep, this this is this is False's little little spaceship thing, you know, attacking the her her city, her civilization. It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I feel like I've, if I try to fly out of here, I'm gonna die. Uh, ouch. Yep. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Um. Ow. Hey, look, we made it up. Alright, so let's see. Let's look, take a look around the futuristic city, and then we'll go find zombie Cleo. Like we were supposed to as well. 
But yeah, look, she's got little drones that are kind of like attacking and scouting and reporting. We got the fire, which is painful. Um, yes, I walked into that on purpose, just for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's attack, you know, attacking the dome, and it's like freaky, and it's like, oh my gosh. And um, yeah, so you know, we've got the her her information rocket that was technically sort of impulsy. Uh, I tried to fly with the pork chop dust now. Lovely. Uh, but yeah. So we got False's lovely base. She's got a boat going up. Um, a boat in the water. Some yuckiness in the water. Uh, the city. Oh, there's a creeper there. And yeah, like, look at this. I would, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind living here. Ooh, and I forgot she's got a creeper farm. Creepers are on fire as they go. I also love this. Like, this, 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 this little crane thing. It's just, it's beautiful. It's awesome. Whee! And up and up we go. And I think Falsy started all over here somewhere, I think. Somewhere over here-ish, I think, is where she started. On one of the little hexagons of hers. She does like her symmetry. This false symmetry. Ha ha ha. Yeah, this is false's base, and it is, it definitely is mega. But yeah, like this, she terraformed this. Um, you know, it was grass, and then she made it into her own, like, little alien biome, which was freaking fantastic, and also a lot of freaking work. Like, dang, um, false is amazing. <laughs> There's her door that got stolen by Green at one point. So, you know, that's exciting. And look, we're on the dome! Ah! Apparently I'm gonna... St I'm stuck in with an endless rocket. Oh, okay. That was really weird, guys. Really weird. Alright, let's see if we can find her... Ender... Or... Nether portal now. Because I know it's somewhere. Oh, I saw it. It's that away. Let's eat a pork chop. Put that back in her hand. And off we go! Do do do! But yeah, and yeah, um, actually, she had a lot of different farms in the little towers, if anyone was curious for that. It's really cool. Like, I like how the hermits do their, you know, fancy little farms and things. It's, it's, it's cool. Yay, we're in Falsus Thing! Oh, I forgot how dangerous it is. Ooh, look. To Darth Zuma. Um, okay, the only thing is that False's base is not the safest. Okay, let's get in here. Ah, oh, nope, I was like a bird. I hit the glass. Oh, <sighs> okay, let's see if we can find Cleo now. <laughs> and also other people. Hyperlink of Gorgeousness. Is this, this way. Impulse and ZF. In case you break the twisting vines. Aw, oh, how sweet. Um, let, let's, let's, oh. Cub, Hypno, and Portal Map District. Let's go to the top. Because I'm sure Joe would have uh, marked Cleo's base because he's an awesome friend like that. So let's go up this way, guys. Back where it's all begun. Not really, but, you know. We were here earlier in, like, the first episode of this now series as a, of us exploring Hermitcraft. Um. Whee! But here we go. We're going up, 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 past. Oh. Well, maybe not past the ceiling. Although, look at that. That's another Azuma thing. Is He, he has a different bedrock. East Tunnel. <gasps> Cleo's this way. Let's go find... Ah! Who's that? <gasps> B-dubs! B-dubs! That's great. Don't do it. Two Falsa's base. Oh, we could have gone this way, guys. Ooh, wait, what is this? What is this? 
B-dubs, Goat, Hypno, and Joe. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alrighty. Let's um keep going and find Cleo. As much as I want to visit every single person. Aww! Who left the sign? That's so cute! Look, they left us a sign. It says you're great and I love you. Oh, I love you, the hermits. They're just, they're great. They, they, only they would leave something like this. Like, <sighs> I have to screenshot that. Because, oh my gosh, that is so cute. I wonder which hermit left that. That's just really adorable. <gasps> Cleo! We found it, guys. Yes, so wholesome. I, 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 I can't stop smiling now. It's like it wasn't meant for like me, but it just it's so sweet, you know. Just to find something like that, like <sighs> if I could ever interact with the hermits in my life, I'd like for real Z. I would be the, like so excited. That'd be like a dream come true. I haven't known them for very long or known about them for very long, but I love them. Hermits are great. And look, we're here at Zombie Cleo's! Oh, I gotta see if Scar actually ever did the... He did not. It doesn't look like he ever did. He was supposed to leave... Uh, or supposed to do the trophy for Cleo. Because she won one of the, you know, things. And she was supposed to get a trophy. And I don't... Yeah, Scar never got around to, to, to building it for her, unfortunately, it looks like. But look, it's the horse! The horse with no name. And then we've got her lovely drawbridge that's kind of dangerous because you can fall through. One of her f first, I think, I don't, I don't want to say it's her first armor stand things that she did on the server, but canines caught by Joe Hills. Yes, that was the whole thing. Um, the, the weirdly functional bridge. This lovely tree. But like, look, guys, we're here. We're at the zoo, and I. Th this is this is where all the lag is. You guys are probably experiencing very much lag as well. I know I am. It's just kind of laggy. Here's a bird, being fed by a person. Someone, shoes, cups. No, there were cups. I remember she said there were cups. Some cake, S sandwich, napkin. There's supposed to be a roach around here somewhere too, right? Hey, it's the roach, I think. I think that was supposed to be the roach. Yes, it's green. Yeah, green. Green, the fish face. Always. Oh, and of course we've got the little sand castle. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. I love it. And the little tiny shovel. Oh... Yeah. Look at that. Greens everywhere. Knocking this guy into the ocean, too. Oh. Zombie. Is it named? Oh, no. Just... Uh, ha ha, I get it. Zombie. Ha ha. Puns. Whoops. There we go. But look, guys, we're here! Oh, wait. Where's the child? Where's the... Where's, where's the child? There he is. So this child lost his balloon. This guy has a balloon. Uh, but there's one. One child. Who. Is up here. Floating away with a Corrales face. We might have to go into creative mode to look at him. Uh, let's see. Oops. Creative. And time set. Day. I forgot we totally had that. Uh, but yeah. Let's go see the terrified Corrales kid. Because he is being taken away by some balloons. Because Corrales' face is excellent for terrified people. <laughs> oh, that's it's it's funny that she does that. But also funny that it just, it's, it's Corrales. And they have a wonderful friendship, Corrales and Cleo. So... But yeah, and then we, of course we've got the rainbow, which is 
doubles it as, as a cactus farm, which, you know, Cleo found hilarious. Um, so, you know. Let's go to the top of the rainbow, guys! Woo! Uh, this rainbow through went through plenty of shenanigans on its own right. Like when Joe made half a rainbow, Cleo told him he had to make another half, and he purposely made them mismatch, to which she was horrified and upset. Mostly, like, horrified and laughing, but because it's Cleo, but... Yeah. <laughs> and even apparently Joe Hill's daughter was just like, why? Why would you do that? So... But we look, we can just ride down. Oh, that's true. She threatened to break his legs. She did indeed threaten that. You know what? We should we should get a boat. Let me out. Let's do as Zombie Cleo and Joe did and boat down. Let's see. Ah. Uh... Go to creative real quick. Get us a boat. Boat. A boat, boat, boat. Alright. Survival. Plop down. And let's go, guys. Whee! Okay, we're going. We're going. Woo! Look at us. Whee! <laughs> this is terrible, but also, like, terrifying. It's, like, terrifying. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna die? Can you, my trophy, go here, please? Oh, so this is where the trophy was supposed to go. Interesting. But look, guys, we made it to the end of the rainbow. We did it. Uh, break the boat, break the boat. There we go. We got our boat back. Do, 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 do. But yeah. That's exciting. Let's go check out the rest of the zoo, though. Because Darcidian wanted to see some Cub Scouts. Oh, it's raining. We don't want it to rain on our day at the zoo. Be sunny. And look, now there's even a rainbow. A veritable le leprechaun. I'm not a leprechaun. I mean, I guess I was at the end of the rainbow, so haha. Ha. Alright, let's go, guys. Let's go. So we, we're, 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 we're gonna cut through in the line. Psh, you don't see anything. We've got Joe at the counter here. Uh, what is this? 16 American dollars. Ah, uh, that's funny. Oh, and here we have the Cub Scouts, which, you know, is hilarious because it's both a pun and also because cub because he is a cub oh here's here's a cockroach i think i think that was an actual cockroach and then we've got um ren as the you know the, the scout leader scout master some more greens cleo's house with her her kitties Mew. um the cactus farm that Joe built in her, her base, which she was so thrilled about. She also threatened to break his knees. Um, and her storage room, and she, she has an enderman in a boat. Are you named, sir? Well, you're trapped. You can't get me. Haha. -ha. Thanks for playing base race number four. Oh, cool. What is this? Is this random stuff? Ooh. Oh, that's from my mod. Or one of the resource pack things. But like, look, guys. Here's her bedroom. It's got a skull, of course. Um, oh, we have to see the forbidden room. Well, like, not technically forbidden, but it's a secret. But also not really a secret. It's her headroom. Eh, okay, there we go. The wall of hermit heads. Look, she's got some Iskal heads, I think. Yeah, those are Iskal. So we've got some Iskal heads, Biffuff. we got some Etho. Uh, yeah, Wells Knight. More Cub. She's got a lot of Cubs. Um, that's a Wren head. Some more Greens. 
falses. That, that's a lot of scar. <laughs> There's a lot of scar. An XB. Okay, I have to put on XB's head. I feel like I already did, though. But I'm gonna do it again. Because, oh yeah. It's, it's, it's XB. And he's great. So. I'm trying to remember which hermits we haven't already worn their heads. or Well, I haven't worn their heads already. But, um, actually, the, this, this, this Scar, uh, was the Scar I was actually introduced to. I first met Scar while he was a wizard, and I thought it was the best skin. I actually liked it better than his original skin. When I first saw his original skin, I was like, wow, he, 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 he wasn't always a wizard? Um, like, he, he wasn't always a wizard? Like I was I was so surprised, honestly. I was I was very surprised. So we, we we got this is this is how we met Hermitcraft was this through this face. Through this face. So, you know, thank you, Scar, for being awesome. We're we're gonna keep your head. Ooh, not not on my head, but I mean, there, there there is Etho. And are you, are you talking about that specific catchphrase, Darcidian? The specific catchphrase? Or oh, Schnappers. Because I, I think that's the one you're talking about, right? It's an Etho head. Etho is amazing. I don't know why, but like... Etho is just... It's Etho. Everyone loves Etho. Like, I was playing his Hurt and Hermit games, and just like... It's Etho, guys. I can't stop smiling because it's Etho. Because Etho is just great. And I hope you saw or will eventually see that I played Hurt and Hermits and that I tried. And Darcidian, I'm ignoring you. Because <laughs> that is not how it goes. Um, but yeah, so like, I'm excited. And then of course we got more Corallis. Uh, I don't know actually who that is. We got some ZF heads. He's a former hermit, I believe. Um, some weird random heads as well, because I know she has a bunch of those. <gasps> Pesky bird. Um, bee. She's got some bees. Lots of bees. Uh, and then the, the forbidden hermit experiment, where she got some DNA to clone the hermits, but it, it, it didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. <gasps> Look at the little shulker head. It's so cute. Oh, I can wear a shulker. I'm going to wear a shulker on my head. I'm a shulker. It's so cute. It's a little tiny shulker. Oh. I wonder, does she have... Okay, I see these. I'm... <laughs> She's got still all the, the spider heads. She never got rid of all of them. I, I wonder, does she have the sewerfish head? Because in season 8, she's discovered it. So she didn't really know about it before. But I'm wondering, did she happen to have one that she just never tried on? Because it scares... It scares, um, Joe. And of course, Cleo loves to scare Joe, so... I'm kind of sad that she doesn't have one, but I guess really, she really has never seen one. Well, no, not a tactical tickle. Um, a silverfish. Tactical tickles are the endermites. But, like, look, I'm so excited. I love all the little hermit heads and all the heads in general. Like, Cleo is amazing. And she's definitely, like... I don't know, I, I as our, when I first found her, I was just so excited... Because she, she, she's, like, fun and exciting and awkward and then also, you know, violent in a way that I, I, I can totally relate on. Um, like, the first time she said, you know, she's going to break Joe's knees, I was in love. Because she's just amazing. Because I'm stuck. <laughs> but, yeah, she just... <sighs> I feel like I'm always out of words for the hermits because I love all of them. And it really is hard. So hard. 
to choose a favorite because I just, I love them all. And here we have the, all the armor stands that Joe promised Cleo. <sighs> but yeah, and I just, I love the hermits. I love the hermits, I love their world, I love everything they create, it just, they're great, guys. I hope they know that. But yes, let's continue. Let's 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 continue with more of our exploring. So we've got the little guy who's pat you know, his his snacks are falling out of his backpack. Uh the cubs that are fighting, he's gonna smash him with a rock. The violent cub, apparently. Um Her first exhibit with her little little creepy creatures. Like look look at that. Look at that. Like I think they start out this way. And then they turn into these guys. Ouch. Um, yeah, like this. And then that. And then they become these guys. With the legs. Creepy. I don't think she ever gave them an actual name, though. But they are freaky. You know, you've got one that's a, a attacking creeper. Um, and then the, this one has a dead body. It's a dead body. It's a secret. Shh. And then, ow. okay, this one's pull a, pulling in a child, and the parents don't notice, because you know, they don't. Um, the creepy crawly funhouse. Do not leave small children unattended if you want to keep them. Hmm. I know some people I'd want to leave in here. Trash. Donations keep the zoo running. Total undying. A lot of stuff. Ooh, diamonds. Oop, I need to eat some more food. Let's see, we've got her, uh, Tran Tranchula Jolie, who is actually escaping. Um, do not tap on glass. She's a man-eating spider. Like, look at that. That's amazing that she made that. Do armor stands. And then we've got Snaily McSnail Face. Like, look at that. Look at that snail. It's a cute snail. So cute. Employees on his cell phone. Or just random guy on his cell phone, maybe. Um, Sub-Zero. It's a scorpion. This scorpion has been in our collection for two years. I gotta leave a donation. Oh, that's true. Um, What do I leave? Um... Can I leave the kitty socks? Will she accept those? Uh, is there an ender chest? I need an ender chest. Because then I have I have my diamonds in there. Nitro. Um, should I leave the kitty socks in there? And I'll leave some apples. There. Is that is that a good donation? <laughs> Seriously, do not tap on glass. And fatalities known, 692.5. She would respect my kitty socks. I, I feel like yes, she probably would. I mean, Cleo has cats, so. Leveny. Leaf pokey mantis. You can tap, but it will make her sad, you monster. Look at it, it's so cute. It's a praying mantis. I love it. And this guy's just rude because he's taking off his boots in a zoo. Terrible. Canines caught by Joe Hills. Yeah, that was a whole thing. And then the, the creepy scorpion thing that terrifies everyone. And then look! More creeper. <gasps> Puppy! So they're eating snacks. Oh gosh, nope, nope, nope. Why, why did that not work? Why is it? Why does it keep coming back at me? This creeper's magic. Oh. Okay, we're 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 gonna donate the magical gunpowder as well, and also this anvil. Cause that was terrifying. Why would it do that? Why? 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 Ha! Killed that guy. 
So we've got some more. Oh, we've got her ice cream cone. You can buy some ice cream treats. Cola pop. Character lolly. Lemon lolly. Strawberry lolly. Ooh. Lemon and lime sorbet. And a raspberry slush. Yum. And this kid's getting a, a strawberry. Like, look at this, guys. She made this ice cream cone. Um ice cream shop with actual sprinkles which I actually hate sprinkles but it's cool and this poor kid he dropped his ice cream poor thing so we've got some more people we've got her beehive child who's stuck in the honey um, I wonder if her, she ever fixed the leak because I know there were bees escaping from here at one point who oh, no, I'm stuck uh, but yeah it's a beehive. Where her bees live. Uh, okay, so go this way. She's got some more people. Like, look at these. She made all these little people. Isn't that cool? Another person. One of the um, cub fans has escaped. <gasps> Gigacock. It's the Gigacock, guys. It's a, it's a giant peacock that uh, Corrales made. And it was dubbed the Gigacock, and it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and it's freaking huge. And these kids are are playing in the thing like they're not supposed to. Creeper, creeper toes, and also the elephants. I remember Kralis being so so excited about his elephant poops. It is. It is very cool. But look, look, it's the Gigacock, and we can climb on top of it. Look at that, we're on the Gigacock. The giant peacock. Of course we had to use the name. Oh. But yes, elephants, ow, hit that. Um. Whee! Ouch, I was not trying to hit another rocket. If I remember correctly, this one is also another one. With its plumage out and everything. Let's set it to time set day, guys. Oh my goodness. Creeper, creeper, creeper. I think it's from over here we can see it. Yeah, that's another one. It's another gigacock. And then look. She actually made... She made a guy in a wheelchair. Look how cool that is. All this with armor stand magic. I remember a lot of people were super excited about this one. And it's true. It took a lot of work and I, you know, she did, she did really good. It is awesome. Cleo is awesome. Creeper. Um, but yeah. So we've got the elephant exhibit and I think, oh, we forgot about that one. Um, it's not really an exhibit, but look, there's a child being eaten by a giant pelican. Because Corrales makes giant birds. And, um, a shark. And a giant fish, apparently, as well. But yeah. Um. I feel like I, I don't know how to, like, talk about the amazingness that is Cleo's art. But speaking of which... There's something else that Cleo worked on. So let's go see it. This is part of the Hermit Zoo, the Hermit section, um, you know, where she basically made uh, exhibits based off of the Hermits. So we've got, you know, Tango from when he was working on Decked Out this season, this last season. Um, you know, and so you get an actual Ravager in here, which is terrifying. Um, and it's even got the little musical buttons, so, like, look. I think I have my sound too low, hold on. Yeah, I have it a little low. Turned it low for some reason the other day. Yep. We heard this in the first live stream. It was terrifying. But in this case, it's okay. And then, we've, of course, we've got Spider Cleo, which is interactive. 
It's terrifying as well. Zombie Cleo is terrifying. I mean, in general, she's terrifying, but also just zombie Cleo, spider, spider Cleo. This was, this was, <laughs> it was done by Joe. Joe did this one, of course. Because, you know, who knows Joe better, I guess, than, or who knows zombie Cleo better than Joe. Oh, it's terrifying. It, it is truly terrifying. We'll put the lava back. But yeah, like, look, it's this you know, creepy cave and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so. More of Tango's thing is, yeah, he was working on this. Got that. Try me, lodestone compass. And then, you know, the terrifying pit of death. Oh, hello, Ravager. Joe Hill's beast. Please don't hurt me. You can't get me through there. Um, let's see. So that's Joe's. Who's is this? Falling Anvil's Looney Tunes. Hmm. Interesting. Perhaps this was more for... More, uh... Maybe it was supposed to be meant for more... Um... Tango stuff? But yeah, so Tango was... This was the first one they did. And then, let's see. Who, who does the car belong to? Don't know. Oh, this is from, um... Impulse and Tango. Because they play, you know, live stream games. And one of the things was... It was Ghost Impulse, because he was dead. And he threw a cup at Tango who was running away, and it scared him, from what I remember. So, you know, ghost, and ghost impulse. So this is Impulse's exhibit. But it also has a tango. Uh, so that's funny. That That's very funny. Um, but yeah, it was from the, the Phantom Phasia... Fan, fan, Phantasmia? Game with the, the ghosts, and you know, you chase the ghosts and stuff, it's, it's freaky. I have not played it myself, but I've seen many people play it. Haha, -ha, parkour. Um, oh, I see it. It's the B-dubs. Look, it's the B-dubs exhibit. Because B-dubs loves beds. And what better way to express B-dubs than with beds. It's so like, look, he's jumping into a pile of beds. I love it. And then, of course, we've got the Corallus Godzilla with um, his base. This is what his base looks like, at least in miniature. Um, which was a giant city. And he's, you know, stomping through it. Because <laughs> that was a Corallus thing to do. <gasps> and here it is. The employees in construction. This is this is where Zombie Cleo, you know, left off. Because she didn't get to finish. These are the hermits I could not finish. I leave you my book and items so you can add them. Do me proud. And one day, I will. I will one day do this. I don't know if I will do it on a live stream, but eventually I would like to. Um, I would like to do this for, you know, Cleo. To do my own imp interpretation of the hermits. At least, I mean, I don't know all of them, but I could try. But look, this is all her stuff. And I would have loved if she could have finished, but I know that she did not have the time. Because, I mean, this past year and a half has been chaos. Uh, I have. We In the first one, we actually did go there. Um, and, you know, I gushed over Etho's inside base thing that he has. Um, and then we eventually found Hurt and Hermits. But yes, we have been to Ethos, and we gushed. Well, I gushed, and you guys listened. <laughs> um, so, you know, that that is what I did. <gasps> Azumas! Because he was B-themed this year. It was him being attacked by angry bees because he's stealing their honey. Which seems Azuma-y. And then, of course, we've got this one over here which I guess is technically multiple hermits 
kind of Ren Dog, kind of Scar, kind of, um, I, I want to say Green, maybe? Because there, there was one part where, like, where, where she was saying that, like, Grian made this horrible screeching noise as he died in lava. So, you know, they're, they're stealing the, the baby Yoda. But I actually don't see a Grian in this area. But, yeah, so this is, like, Scar and, um, Rendog, because they're, they're Star Wars, uh, uh, geeks, for sure. Me, not so much. But, that's okay. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got Mumbo, um, Mumbo Jumbo, the, the, uh, the Hobbit. Bumbo Baggins, eating, you know, second breakfast or something like that. Hello. Little, little Hobbit house. He was having a party. Um, Tinfoil Chef, who unfortunately didn't get to do, play too much on the server, but He's, he's known for his mining. I don't know very much about him, but he is very much known for mining. So, And then, of course, we've got False, who is PvP Queen. Um, and as you can see, she's, you know, destroying all the, the, the mobs that come at her. Because that, that is what a um, False does. That's what False does. Yep. Oh, and we have XB over here. With his, his weird little dog and his futuristically um, destroyed uh, dystopian city with zombies and stuff. So, XB and his, his creepy llama dog. Because those are, those are two llama heads. It's kind of creepy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit creepy. But still cute. Um, let's see, who's up here? No one. No one was finished up here. Alright, so let's see. I think Grian is over here. Yeah, here it is. So we've got, you know, Grian and all the fish coming to, you know, take over. Because they want to be Grian. Which makes sense, of course. Um, and then, of course, we've got a vintage beef with his uh, guitar, or guitar, his drum set, because he did beefy tunes this, you know, this past season where he, he sold music and drum sets and guitars and pianos even at one point. It's crazy. But yeah, so this is his exhibit. And of course, we've got Cubs, which, um, you know, crazy. Uh, start button. Oh, this part's cool. Okay, watch. Watch this, guys. It's got a little cub. Look at it. It's got a little cub. And this is supposed to be the dead body as well. <laughs> so that's funny. Um, is a mummy. Look at that. He's dead body. He's a mummy. And then, of course, his little organs and things are in these jars. Can't actually... Okay, I was about to say, I can't open it. And then, um, all his mini games that he did. Oh. Scorpion. Freaky. Let's see, what is... So there's bows. And arrows. So how do you do this? I'm curious. Oh. I don't I don't know how to do how this one works. Oh. Probably should read the thing, right? Interesting. 
Probably would have helped if I had read the instructions first, right? Oh no! I broke cub. I broke cub. Oh no. <laughs> I broke cub. Um. I broke cub. I broke you, cub. I'm sorry. The, the, the. It wasn't my intention. Um. Alrighty then. Let's 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 put Cub back together, at least the best I can. Certainly not um, intended. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, that's awkward. I'm so sorry, Cub. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know how to fix you. I don't. I don't know the hermit. <laughs> I'm glad you guys find this so entertaining. I think that that Cub is dead. pretend that didn't happen. Thank you, Rocket. <gasps> We're slowly getting it, guys. We're slowly getting it. Oh. Also, not getting it. Um. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. I don't remember. I don't know how to do this. I feel like I've done a terrible mistake. I don't know how to turn it off. How do I turn it off, guys? Um. <laughs> oh, gosh. arrow shot me. Yeah, okay, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, we're we're gonna leave this area and um not come back. Oh, I need to put the bow back. I'm so sorry, Cub. I apologize once more. I'm leaving. I have another bow. Okay. We were never here. We were never here, guys. Please do not pet the hills. He's not dangerous, he just doesn't like it. Joe Hills, an interactive exhibit. How do I interact? Oh. 
Oh, that's right. It's a it's a puppet show. You're supposed to control them from like here, right? But yeah, um <laughs> Oh, I made it all awkward, didn't I? Can can I I can't take the book. Yeah. Um well then. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, I think that's that's all of them. She didn't get to all the hermits. Yep, pretty much. I think so. And then over here is the Head Games Arena. Where the Head Games finale was played. Bed. Also where the Spider Throne is. I believe this is where she put Patreon names of hers. Her Patreon's got to have their names here. No, they're right. Um, but yeah, so. The Hermits played in this arena. And it was pretty cool. Don't know actually how to get up to to her area. I want to sit on the spider throne. If I can't find my way up, I will make my way up through fly. But yeah, uh, Cub Fan gave her so many uh, zomb cave spider heads that she turned into a cave spider temporarily. But look, I'm in the throne. I'm here. At Cleo's throne. Now I'm going to take a picture. Um, here, let me, let me, there we go. And isn't it, uh, no, it's, oops, wrong button. There we go. There we go. We, we, we gotta take out this off her hand. Yes, yeah, Spider Queen. She was the Spider Queen. Now I'm gonna take a screen so that I can, you know, show it to her. There we go. Woo! Oh, there we go. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna send that to Cleo and be like, I'm at your spider throne. Spider queen throne. Woohoo. Skeleton rattles. No, no thank you. No skeletons. No skellies. Skellabobs, as false says. Skellabobs. I don't want any skellabobs. Woohoo, look, we're here. Oh, see, so this is how you get them. Okay, from the outside. But yeah. Alright, well, we've seen all of Zombie Cleo's zoo. Um, I don't know how to do the stuff, so I'm going to have to play around with this before we, you know, do it. If I do do it on live stream or not, I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, to do, do some armor stand work for to help finish off Cleo's zoo. But, I do want to know. What should we go to next, guys? Where should we go? Who should we see? Well, who's base? I'm the only one on the server, unfortunately. Only one on the server. Since it's a download and everything, you know. But are there any other hermits you are dying to see? Oof, Ravager. I hear you in there. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. We don't want to be near you. What's this? Oh, the water cannon that they were making. Who haven't I gone to yet? That's, that's that's a good idea. I mean, we visited briefly Hypno. We've been to Cubs. Um, let me check my map. 
the map, the map, the map, map, map. Let's see, we haven't gone to... I mean, technically we haven't gone to Joe's base. So that's a thing. We haven't gone to, um, let's see, to the, to Iskal or Mumbo's industrial district. Uh, we haven't been to Vintage Beef's place. We haven't been to Corrales' city. Or really Azuma's base, I don't think, even. Um, we did briefly see Impulse's base. And we haven't seen B-Dubs' base. Or docks. Ooh, ZF space. We haven't gone to ZF either. Let's see where he is. XB's base is the farthest one away, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get there anytime soon. Um, but let's see if we can find ZF. Let's find, see if we can find ZF. So he's near... He's near Impulse and Tango, actually. Which is crazy, because I don't remember seeing them interact Season 7 very much at all, so. Let's go that way. We're going to need more rockets. Haha, -ha, we missed it. Oh, and we have to we have to exit through the, the exit, guys. Just real quick. Alright, so here's the exit. And one of the mascots is trying to prevent these jerks from coming in the exit. Because, rude. Also, this guy's legs look kind of weird. Okay. Okay, we went through the exit, guys. Let's go to ZF's. Whee! Whee! Okay. Oh. I heard a puppy dog. To ZF's we go. Goodbye, Zoo. We love you. We'll be back eventually. Whoops. Alright, so Cleo's. Gotta go back this way. Alright, so let's see. So, B-dubs is that way. We'll go to him eventually. Tango and Beefs. Corrales Azuma, Vintage Beef. Spawn and Ren's Mesa Biome. We need to get up to the roof again, I feel like. I wish there was a way up to the roof from here, but there is not. Eee. We might just have to create a bit again, guys. Yep, we're gonna create a bit. To the ceiling! Haha! -ha. There you go. Let's go find Zeta Space! Let's go find it. Alright, Mumbo, Impulse, uh, Zuma. Zuma, Impulse, Tango, Zuma. <laughs> Zuma has a lot of places. Green's Upside Down, which eventually we'll have to visit. XB's base, so far, far away. Impulse, Doc. Cub Fan, Cub Fan. You are here. I mean, um, I know I'm here. Here's, this is Tango. This, so that's Tango's place? Is there an impulse somewhere? Well, I guess we'll go to Tango's. And we'll find Zedaf from there. Whee! Down we go. Hub in the shopping district. Yep, okay. Ooh. Ooh, dangerous. Let's not fall through there. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Well, just one free zombie candy. Oh, you can stomp egg. Yeah, he really didn't like the... 
the zombie pigmen stuff coming through. Ooh. Look at this. I, I mean, that's in a broken elytra. Tango's bits. Ah. Uh, all his little stuff. That's funny. Parkour. Look at his fancy storage system. Ooh, what's this? Oh, more storage. <laughs> his bed. Oh, it's a bunk bed. Haha. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so... According to this, I think it's that way? Because we did... do. let's do a quick fly around Tango's base. <gasps> Perry the platypus! I didn't know Perry... someone made Perry. That's great. I love Perry. And then Doofin Short, you know, Doofin Shorts, uh, Doofin Schmertz, Evil Incorporated. Ouch. Yeah, this is his building. Um, it's pretty cool. I remember Etho hooked up music to it. I think down in the bottom somewhere? Through the entrance, maybe? Or maybe it's up? I don't know. Ooh, creepy. Very creepy. A lot of... I mean, I approve, but still creepy. I'm, I'm again, I'm trying to fly with a pork chop. <laughs> Alright, so how do you get in so it plays music? Because I want it to play music for me. Ooh, hello, there's a hole in the ceiling. Ouch. Ouch again. Supposed to be something to do? Oh, is it down here maybe? There we go. Do 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 do. Okay, let's 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 back into it real quick. Amazing. Do French Mertz. Okay, that was great. I had to do I know I had to do it again. And then yeah, these are actually they house his farms. But yeah, so um all these farms these are like all farms. Like this is a creeper farm right here. Uh his iron farm. I'm not exactly sure what farm this is, but maybe it's a slime farm? don't know what that is either. There's one thing I do really want to see in person, though. And that is, yeah, courtesy of Little Etho's Music Box. But look, guys. It's Wily e. Coyote. Zombie Cleo made this for him, and it's amazing. That's made of armor stand magic. Like, look, it's taller than I am. It's, it's, oh, it's amazing. Zombie Cleo did amazing. It's very lovely. Alright, so now, let, let's, let's go this way. Let's go find ZF. But as a quick, quick, quick thing, this is actually, uh, Tinfoil Chef's base. This is actually his base that he, you know, built and stuff. It's all, all spooky, a little spooky in here. But this is his base. Um, I didn't get to watch too much of him, but... This is, this is where he lived. Since I'm not sure how many people knew where he lived. But, like, it's really fancy. It goes up really high, apparently, as well. I remember one of the hermits came by and uh, looked at his base. Ooh, okay. Careful. Landing carefully. Not exactly sure which farm this was supposed to be. I forget. Oh, maybe it's just storage. It's storage. Okay. Nice. Alright, so, oh gosh, this is tall. 
Let's go see if we can find the Cave of Contraptions. Which is a very inconspicuous entrance, actually, if I remember correctly. Here it is. Oh, I was trying to find the door. So we can enter normally. But I'm not actually sure where the door to this place is. Oh, is this it? Nope. Don't know what this is. I mean, it's obviously a zombie face, but... It's not the entrance. This. Don't want to fall down there. Where is the entrance? There's a door somewhere. There's supposed to be a door. A simple little door. Did he hide the door? That moved. Hello, knock knock. Am I gonna have to like break in or something? I really would not want to. I don't know how to get in, guys. I hear zombies. I know there's this. Which is this little cave. Or not, well, not technically a cave. It's part of his base. Oh, wait, is it over here? Nope, that's, that's not. I could have sworn it was that sand. Alright guys, we might just have to break in. Here's the entrance. Wee! That's one way to get in. Um, we'll have to find his other door. The floating pig. But yeah, this is the, the cave of, con of contraptions, which is very, very dangerous. Kind of spooky. Bumless pit. Ooh, that takes you out to the void. We don't want to go through there because we will be dead. Um. Yeah, these these are all his. That makes his stuff come out, if I remember correctly, or maybe not. Maybe I just broke them. There's supposed to be a way that makes them come back up. There we go. Put them, yeah, you put them down, and then they're supposed to all, like, bounce back up. The water closet. And then... They bounce up. It scared a couple hermits in the past, from what I remember. And then this is his storage area, which is terrifyingly huge, and makes no real sense to me, personally. Um, but th that's ZF for you, from what I know, is he is very confusing. Throw in an empty bucket Shazam. Can, can I... I want to see how this works. Did I do it wrong? I may have done it wrong. Here, maybe, uh... Hello? Huh. 
I don't know how that's supposed to work. <laughs> the magic puddle, I don't know how it works. I, I know you're supposed to throw in a water bucket, or the, an empty bucket. And you're supposed to get, like, a bucket out. Let's, 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 um, try it again. Nope, okay. I don't know how any of his contraptions work. Lock, hopper, pull green, die for XP. Hmm. Interesting. Big enchants, we enchants. The enchantomatic. Spin to configure. Lapis, one per light. Oh, cool. Ooh, this is a, a minecart thing. System. I think that, yeah, that Grian had made. Yeah, I kind of wish I had watched ZF's episodes. Maybe I would have understood a little bit of what the heck any of this is. Um, but I don't. Because I, I unfortunately did not watch him. There's so many hermits, you know, <laughs> you can't watch all of them, unfortunately. Which is this? this Oh, it's the elevator. Gotta get in. Oh, I need to go to Grian's Hobbit Hole. Oh, to see what the last message was? That's true. But look, we're in the elevator, guys. We're in the elevator. Alright, let's press the button. Oh, okay. Well, the elevator went without us. Can I, can I please? Can I please go up in the elevator? Look, we're going up, guys! We're out. We're in. We're in the cave. Or, well, a dome? I, I, I don't know exactly. And this is where all the fishies were, if I remember correctly. Because Azuma, there's a fish flinger in here. I can't actually get up there. But you put fish in here, and it flings fish. There's not actually any fish in there. But it's supposed to fling fish. We'll try it in a second. And then this is <laughs> the contraption from Grian. Chicken Run, a very inefficient food farm. Ouch. So the chickens are born, they go to school, they go through here, uh, they start working, and then they're, they're supposed to die. Like that. Like that. Um, but yeah, so, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the fish, the fish flinger real quick, and then we will go to Green's Hobbit Hole and see what the last message he sent to Mumble was. We're gonna get some fish though. Really quick. Because I wanna see some fishies. Also, we need some more rockets. Oops. Alright. So, we gotta. If I remember correctly. What's this? We gotta stick the fish in here. And then, all right, watch, guys. Here we go. Fish. How exciting is that? Just flings out fish. But yeah, no. <laughs> it was just fun. It was funnier when when ZF and Azuma did it together. Um. But yeah, let's go find Grian now and see what last message he sent to Mumbo. Ooh, spooky. 
Oh dear. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall in. Ooh, this is fancy. What does that say? Farm. Oh, okay. We got all the the, the destinations apparently. Eee. Not an entrance. Oh, lava. And land. Alright, let's go to Mumbo and Green and them. And then we will sign off for the night. And we'll see about whether we do this, uh, well, again. Because you guys seem to really like it. I mean, people keep voting for it, so. Someone likes it. Where's that hole we made earlier? There it is. Whee! But yeah, you know, we'll see. I'll put out another poll um, later this week and all that and see, see what else we are going to do, you know, guys? Cub van. XB. Green's upside down. Tango. Cub. Impulse. Mumbo Jumbo's Piglin Bartery. Hmm. Plus, it's also, yeah. It has given time for RimWorld to get its many mods fixed because I don't know about you guys if you knew, but they've been, uh, they've, they've had an update. Uh, big one that they're, you know, so there's mods that are being fixed and all that, but, um,. I mean, we're still kind of waiting. Like, I don't know if it's going to ruin our RimWorld game that we currently have. Uh, I think we're going to go back down, maybe. Because there, there was a path down there marked. Oh, I've already gotten lost. What is it? Ooh, glass boxes. Ouch. Hub. Is it here? Impulses base. Mm. No. I've already gotten lost. Where's our hole in the ground? It was somewhere this way, right? I am terrible with remembering things. Is it this way? Oh dear. Well then, okay. We're we're gonna punch another hole. I apologize to Hermitcraft. <laughs> uh Okay, this this isn't working. Maybe it's like uh, over here or something. Bum, 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 bum. Oh dear. Whew, it's a good thing we were in creative. That would have been dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. All right, let's creative our way down. And also other people. All right, so let's see. Survival again. Oh, we don't want to keep bedrock on us. Whee! Ouch. Rude skeleton. And if I remember correctly, this takes us to stress, so that should be close enough. There we go, yep. 
Bert stresses base. Um, let's see, how do I... So there's hers. There's the skull. Ooh, omega tree. That weeping obsidian corridor was amazing. It was, we went through it before. We went to the magical village to close off the first time. The hermits do put like a frick ton of work into what they do, you know. It just amazes me. Here it is. <laughs> it's uh, it's Mumbo's starter base. No longer looks like Green's face either, which is kind of sad. But yeah, they're both hobbits at one point, and then they they stopped being hermit or hobbits. Where is where's the thing? The Hermitcraft Bumbo Baggins Society this way. Huh. I guess he cleaned it up. Because I don't see any minecarts, Darcidian. I mean, we technically know that the last message that he sent to Mumbo was, let's go say goodbye to our son. Which was Grumbot, of course. Oh, they didn't say goodbye to is it? Where? The door to the mine is the... But yeah, but the message isn't here. Because the message is supposed to go up and drop through the hole. Remember? Oh. Unless this is it. Yeah, shall we go and visit our son? That was the last message. This is the last message he ever sent. At least on this, you know, season. It just it didn't go through the hole, I guess, or whatever. Yep. Shall we go and visit our son? Because yes, Mumbo and Green had a son together. Grumbot, who I think we've actually visited in the first... Yeah, we visited him in the first episode of this uh, exploration. No, he saw it. He saw it because um, they went over to it together. They went over to it and they, you know, spoke to him. And, you know, they were like, goodbye. He did not say yes. He 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 didn't he didn't answer. He didn't answer if I was small. Therefore the answer is no. I need to ride the cart. Oh gosh. I guess I do, don't I? Or at least I need to ride a cart. Maybe not that particular one. I don't want to steal the last message. Oh, creative. Mine. There we go. Yes, through the freaky long tunnel. Here we go. Do 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 do. We're going through the tunnel. Off we go to the really long tunnel. It's a very long tunnel, very, very long tunnel, and it's going to signal the end of the stream. So I hope you guys had fun, and we'll continue this maybe in the next one. Um, let me know what else you want to see. 
when I tweet about it and all that fun stuff because there's so much still to see. And from my Twitter, you can do that. Am I still moving? Oh, I am. Okay. It's really, really long. But yeah, um, let me know, guys, because I'm going to put up a poll whether you want more uh, Hermitcraft or should we continue waiting for RimWorld to update, you know? Well, we're either way. Uh, or whether we should try, I guess, RimWorld. Um, I mean, if it doesn't work next week and we do choose RimWorld, then we'll... we'll... Oh gosh, it's the bells. Oh, that was loud. Interesting. But look, now we're at Green Starter Base. Oh, Professor Beak, you're still here. I mean, it would be. Um, I guess maybe we'll just we'll try RimWorld and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then um, we'll go back for more Hermitcraft, I guess. If that sounds alright with everyone is we'll, we'll, we'll try RimWorld, and if it doesn't work, we'll default to Hermitcraft. What do you guys think? Is that a good good thing? Because I think that sounds good, you know. Because I, I haven't looked to see if it works. Um, I, most of our mods uh, appear to be updated for, the, for that game. Um, so... And we'll probably get assigned some random ideology and all that. It, it, and there'll be new things to do. Uh, but it'll be interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we'll definitely have to come back to the room world. Or to the Hermitcraft world at some point. Even if Rim world does end up working. So we'll see you guys. And you know. Bye for now. Lots of love, and thank you for showing up and being here tonight, because Hermitcraft's amazing, and you're amazing, and, well, Minecraft is pretty amazing, too, so. This is me, signing off, Azrak9.